Hi, right, this question is about molecular structure. Now we have here different types of structures and we're gonna actually compare them to according to what they were put to. Here we have this structure right here and we can look at the, the carbons on the sides. Now you see these little corners right here. These are actually carbons. So we can count here. We have one, two, three, four, five carbons and you can see that there's an oxygen here. Now, we compare this to these structures right here next to each other. We have this structure right here, which is made of one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And you can see that the oxygen is on the corner, just like this one. Now these two molecules, these two molecular structure here are actually glucose. The difference between them is that you can see that there is an OH on the bottom here, while here, there's an OH on the top. And that difference between them is what makes them different, known as alpha or beta deglucose. Now, where do you usually look at this? Always look next to the oxygen. Now, if you look at these structures, they do not have anything similar with this. It's just by looking at the oxygen, you can see that the oxygen looks like a house, right? With the top here having the oxygen, and here's in the corner. So do these two have anything in common? No, they don't. But if you look for this guy with this, yes, they do. It's exactly the same thing. Now, some kids will understand this, that it's flipped, but it's actually the same thing. So, but now let's look at this structure right here compared with this one. Now, ribose is actually made of five carbons. And we have one, two, three, four, and that five carbon with the oxygen right in the middle. That's a ribose. Now, if we compare it to this structure that was given, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and the oxygen on the corner. So they do not resemble each other. So they are definitely not the answer. And you can notice that this is actually like, oh, if we look here on the corner, we see the OH is on the top. So if the OH on the top, this actually should have been a beta glucose. So it's also not wrong. Now we look up here and we see that there is a phospholipid. And the phospholipid is made of two acids, fatty acids, one, two, and then he has a glycerol backbone right here. And then because it's a phospholipid, you can see there is a phosphate group right here and you can see that there is a P. And that's the guy that will help you find the differences, plus choline. Now look at this structure comparing to each other. Do you see a two fatty acids? No, you probably see just this chain right here as one fatty acid. And then you have these rings going on here, but you don't see any of the phosphates. You don't see a P around here. So is this a phosphate, a phospholipid just like this one? No, it's not. So these structures do not match. And then we come up to the last one. This is actually an amino acid, if I put it here. Amino acid has one side, it has the NHH as an amino group. On the other side of the carbon, it has the carboxyl group, which is a double bond of oxygen and with OH. Now, carbon here can also be attached to a hydrogen and to a viral group, which is R. Now, it doesn't matter if the R is on top on the H. It's just about a matter of space where they are looking at. Now, compare this to this structure. You can see that right here, there is an NH just like this. And you can see there is a carbon with a double bond. And this is a stretch OH is the same thing as this one. So it compares to here. You can see the R is there and the H is there. So this structure does match the amino acid. So the right answer is right here. It's this one. These two, the amino acid one is the answer.